I will be using polymer clay to create a coral reef design on a glass face. For this project, you will need polymer clay, a cutter, tools to poke holes and scratches with. I will be making different colorful shapes that look like coral polyps, sponges, acropora, sea anemone, and clownfish. Polymer clay is suitable for all kinds of creations. And it looks great on surfaces like glass, ceramic, metal, and wood. Colors can be blended. I take two different colors and clump it together and roll it to create a new color. This is a modeling clay that doesn't dry up easily and can be molded until it's cured in the oven. I am conditioning my clay as I am working by kneading, folding, rolling, and flattening, then repeat these steps again and again. The more you condition, the better as it removes air that might be trapped in the clay, which can cause cracks in the oven. You can see that I am wrapping the clay around the bottom edge of the vase. This creates a connection between the clay and the base object. You may notice that I am using all kinds of tools because I have a lot of crafting tools. However, you can use household items such as toothpicks, bobby pins, and chopsticks. The clay is soft, so any tools will work. This is optional. You can add white clay as the base layer to the surface that you are decorating. I did not do this, so you can see the mess from the back of my glass, which may not look clean. This is no big deal if you are going to wrap the entire vase with clay. The basic actions used by clay modeling are rolling, cutting, molding, pinching, poking, shaping, scratching, and baking. To make sea an enemy, Roll the clay into fine spaghetti strands. Use a toothpick to cut into small strands. Smoothen the edges by rolling between your fingers and attach the clay to the vase. To attach two pieces of clay, you should make scratches in a cross hatch pattern into the areas to be joined before pressing them together. This should help the clay to stick better onto itself. Always make sure the clay touches the glass every time.
have read that polymer clay gets stronger the longer you bake it and may take one to two hours of fusing time for ceramic or glass. Since the clay has no water in it, it can't overbake unless you have the heat too high. So keep the temperature in proper range. You can bake your polymer clay on glass, but after cooling down, some of the clay might not stick to the glass. You have to glue the clay on to the glass afterwards. The other way to stick polymer clay in a glass surface is by cre creating a connection that will hold itself to the glass. Like, I wrap the clay around the bottom edge of the face. This will help to hold the clay on the glass. You should bake the glass much longer than you would for other small items. It's totally okay to bake your clay creation more than once in the oven. After baking, make sure the glass cools down slowly. Leave the glass in the oven and let the oven cool down together with the glass in it. The final product is baked at a low temperature at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. Make sure to follow the instructions on your polymer clay set. Once, you, once it is all done, let it cool off. I added another 20 minutes as I didn't feel it had cured, dried, and hardened. Polymer clay is easy to work with and it is a great creative medium to make charms, beads, and even a piece of art on a glass face. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!